Hey y'all, I'm Heaven, and this is Queendom Connections Revamped. This is a twin flame soulmate karmic channel only, so if you are looking for zodiac signs, you will not find them on this channel. These are general messages, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to force it to fit. If this is your first time watching me, I do curse. Um, so if you don't want to hear me cursing, which is fine, you might not want to watch me. And if you wear your feelings on your sleeve again, you might not want to watch me because I'm not finna sugarcoat this shit. So we're going to just jump into the message and see what spirit need and want you to know when it comes to the person on your mind, not mine. Okay. So spirit bless the collective with the messages that they need to hear, not what they want to hear when it comes to this reading. Protect me as I channel the messages for the collective's highest good. Anybody sending any negative energy my way, I ask that that energy is returned to sender. A thousand fold in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Child, I was not even finna use this, but something is telling me to use the twisted oracle. Look, memories. That's like the six of cups energy, child. Somebody can't stop. The person on your mind is currently thinking about you, okay? So what do the collective need to know and be aware of when it comes to the person on their mind? Other than they thinking about them. What do the collective need to know when it comes to the person? on their mind get it together 702 baby they trying to get their shit together they thinking about child y'all could be waiting on this person to get their shit together but they definitely thinking about you and they trying to get their self together to the person on the collective's mind. What do they need to know or be aware of, Spirit? When it comes to the person on the collective's mind, what do they need to know or be aware of? When it comes to the person on the collective's mind, what do they need to know? Okay, I feel like this person is trying to heal because you got all the colors of the chakra and the biggest word on this card is health. So, this person could be in the process of healing. Look, yep, and they losing sleep over you. They worried, they replaying events over in their head. Think, look, and it says thinking about you. Didn't I say that with the memories card? So, while they in this place of healing or trying to heal, they losing sleep over you. Mm -hmm. They losing sleep over you. See, because y'all out here happily single doing your thing. You outside, and baby. They want you to go back in the house. Go back in the house, collect. This person do not want you outside, okay? <laughs> this person is losing sleep because you outside. Happily say good doing you. Yep. A lot of y'all turned y'all back on this person, or this is how they feel. They feel like you've turned your back on them. Because if you really turned your back on this person, you wouldn't be watching me, okay? But, uh... You standing on business. Let me say that. You standing on business and you got your back turned to this person. <laughs> and they they stressing over it. They are definitely stressing over it. What else? When it comes to the person on the collective line. What's going on? What do they need to know? Child, this person is reminiscing about the connection, the romance, y'all, the intimacy that y'all once shared. That's what they lose and sleep over. They feel like you out here just, you know what I'm saying, giving it, giving they loving away. <laughs> this person feel like you giving they loving away. Look, and the song that's playing is It Kills Me by uh, Melanie Fiona, for real. Look. Yeah, it's killing this person to think that you out here riding somebody reverse cowgirl like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me talk shit up because maybe I'm telling it on, on some of y'all. I, uh, I won't tell this person, okay? I'll keep y'all secret. <laughs> but they sleep, the baby, they losing sleep over it. <coughs> and the funny thing about it. Is this person goes to you. This person was in and out of your life. But now they stressing because, see, again, you out here dating. You you single. You outside. And they they can remember how it felt when you was doing this with them. And to think that you could be out there doing it with somebody else. Baby, it's killed. And it kills me to know how much I really love you. So much I wanna, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, it's killing them. 
But see, this is somebody you got a love-hate relationship with simply because they ghosted you. They didn't appreciate you when they had you. Now they stressing over. Look, karmic ties. Yep, this person is healing from some karmic ties. So I don't know what they did. I don't know what they're going through or what they, um, <laughs> what what obstacle or challenge they could be facing. But I feel like it was some type of karmic tie that they, you know, a karmic debt that they had to pay. But I do feel like the, the, the debt is being paid with the karmic ties. They are cutting some type of karmic ties. But baby, it's a painful, it's a painful situation for them because you see it's blood on this knife, baby. Yeah, that's blood. It they going through a very painful ending. Look, yeah, rejected. And the universe is blocking their ass from coming towards you until they continue they finish healing from whatever this karmic tie is that they are ending. It's a phase in their life that they ending. They healing from something. And it's very karmic in nature, whatever it is. So the universe right now is holding this person at bay like, ah, you cannot come towards the collective with that bullshit. You get your shit together first. <laughs> so that's what they're doing. And look at the bottom of this deck. Something just told me to look over her because I'm going to use this later. But I did not see this on the bottom of the deck. 111. You could be seeing 111 a lot. It says this number is often seen as a wake up call. Baby, look at this shit. Yeah, this person is going through a, they they going through a spiritual awakening. It's a wake up call. Uh oh, where that rubber band go? <laughs> Baby, that whole flu. I, oh, here we go. But it's a wake up call. It says this number is often seen as a wake up call and a sign of spiritual awakening. It's a reminder to stay positive <clears throat> and focus on your new beginnings or opportunities. So, yeah, this person is healing because they, they want to have a new beginning with you. <laughs> After cutting some or going through some type of painful ending of some type of karmic situation. Mm-hmm. What else when it comes to the person <clears throat> on the collective mind? Look, see, they folk, they losing sleep over you. It's falling right up under losing sleep. You done had some type of glow up. You shining, secure, confident, boss, bitch, career focused, queen bee. Or you could be a man in this energy. But you got your shit together and you out here happily single. You looking good and shit. Baby, this person can't take it. They cannot take it. And if y'all not out here shining... You could just be, you know, ain't, ain't gonna say ain't nothing changed. You've changed, and it's something different about you that's stressing this person. This person know how good you got it, especially, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to your intimacy. They know, you know, you, you they know you can put it on a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But this new you, this new you collected, baby, they, 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 they don't know how to handle this new you. You out here looking good and shit, shining. Focused on your bag, <laughs> baby. They like, damn. And and if you looking good to them, they know you looking good to everybody else. This biggest, this person's biggest fear is you out here in love and loving on somebody else. Child. Mm -hmm. This person was extremely shady in the past. Or the people that they're around are shady. I'm putting my blunt out, y'all. Cause baby, what else? <laughs> what else do the collective need to know when it comes to the person on their mind? Yeah, this person. Yeah, this person was is is definitely somebody who made a lot of bad choices. Um, they were probably promiscuous. They they lived a toxic ass lifestyle, and you could have just moved on because you wanted somebody who could be loyal, who could be intimate, who could show you emotion, who could be romantic. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who wasn't scared to pop the question. They may have been scared. I don't know. One more. What's going on when it comes to the person on the collective mind? What do they need to know? Oh, child, baby. That their life is falling apart. You got jealousy, gossip, hater, fake, two-faced liar. Yeah, this... For whoever your person started talking to, they somebody that, that played they ass. They started talking to and maybe even fell for somebody who... Uh, was fake as fuck. This person was fake. And not only were they fake, they were two-faced and a liar. So, not only did they get played by a two-faced liar, this person 
may know of you. They they hate on you. They jealous of you. They probably wish they could be you, but unfortunately, they cannot be you. Look, and then shattered. This person's life is falling apart. As far as they're concerned, their life is falling apart. I guess I should put that right here. But they the one who started talking to this person, and they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have never started talking to this person. But it was part of those bad choices. You know, they was out there partying, living crazy, drinking, drugging. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they met somebody, and they were feeling this person. If that's triggering, you know, I do apologize, but, the, you know, I can only tell the truth. Again, I don't sugarcoat over here. They, they kind of fell for this person. But I feel like... <clears throat> They fell for this person for the in, for the, the the pleasure this person was giving them. I don't think they were in love, love. Like, you know, they was flirting with this person, sending messages back and forth, not knowing that though this person was talking to them too, they could have been talking to other people. Because, again, they, they a liar. They two-faced. They fake. They gossip. You know what I'm saying? And if they, if they gossip, they probably spread gossip. You know what I'm saying? Lying like a motherfucker and baby. That's probably part of this karmic ties. Look. And your person again, they they were they were warned. They were warned, but they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to listen. So now that they are listening, again, now that they see the truth, they worried about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. <laughs> Trying finding it real hard to cope with everyday life. Because again, all they think about is you being with somebody else. You out here doing good without them. And all they could do, child, this this person, I feel like they embarrassed. Yep. You know, they were living in the moment at some point, or they feel like, you know, you were living in the moment, or they were living in the moment with you. I don't know, but right now they stressing <laughs> over you. They're stressing. So they like, damn, the collective gonna meet somebody. They gonna be happy. They gonna be with them. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, let's see. Let's get some tarot before I get another oracle deck. <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to see which tarot deck I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to use the, the, uh, the broke bitch tarot deck. <laughs> You got that love, Gerald LeVert. Yeah, this child, this person is thinking about you, collective, so strong because you got that love. I told you, you got that, 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 that good, good. You got that comeback, that comeback. I want some more. Toot it up, then drop it low. Baby girl, you know you got that good. She got that, she got that, she got that. <laughs> I got that, I got that. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Well, let's see. What is this karmic ties? What is this? What was this? Karmic ties. <clears throat> it had to be a lesson of some sort. Now, I don't know if it was a lesson, you know, with a romantic partner or with a platonic situation or what, but maybe we're going to see. This karmic tie. What was this karmic tie? Yeah, they took, oh, yeah, this karmic tie was a, a risk they took to, to go into another partnership, another relationship, to be with somebody else. They took a risk, but it was a karmic situation, <laughs> and unfortunately for them, yeah, it, it didn't turn out so good. It definitely did not turn out so good. They could have even married this person or moved in with this person. But it was definitely a karmic situation surrounding a relationship or family. For some of y'all, it's family. But it's all less about to change. Or once this person got over there with this person, once they married them, once they committed to them, things change. Will of Fortune. Look, child, Ace of Cups and the Chariot. Now they ready to leave to have a brand new beginning somewhere else. Three of coins. But now, Spirit said, now you want it. Child, for some of y'all, this person thought that they were going to be able to have their cake and eat it too because I saw three of pentacles and then the empress. This person thought they would be able to, you know, fuck around with this person and fuck around with you. But it was it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Karmic ties. What else when it comes to these karmic ties? Yeah, they took a risk that they shouldn't have took. What else? 
karmic ties. Wheel of <laughs> told you. Wheel of fortune. Yeah. Things are changing. Now, now this person, whatever they thought they was getting into <laughs> when they got with this person with Ten of Pentacles, the fool ten of <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Karma. Things suddenly changed. Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups. Now they can't stop thinking about you. Now they can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. Losing sleep. Weary. Replaying events. Thinking about you. <laughs> yeah, this person can't even... They can't even function for worrying about what you got going on. They can't even function. Look, I cannot make it up. Two of Cups. They can't function. All they want is you. <laughs> all they want is you. I got to be able to see all the cards, y'all. Baby, the two of cups. This person is just like, damn. They they reminiscing about the love y'all shared, the times y'all. I could have went on a picnic. Y'all could have went to the park and just sat down on a, a blanket and just played and laughed. And Baby, they thinking about all that shit, losing sleep, because they feel like you could be out there doing it with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. And this is like terrifying to this person. Look, the ace of coins. I told you. They this person is afraid that you're gonna meet somebody or that you have met somebody and they feel like that person is just so happy and so lucky to have you. Look, the high priest is cause you're not talking to them or the high priest. You know, they feel like you could be in another relationship because you know you're not talking to them or you being very quiet when it comes to them. I mean, you you could be, and, and then, too, you may not even be doing none of that. You know, you're just moving in silence. Two of Wands, baby, yep. And so, I do feel like, even though this person feels like you could be dealing with somebody else, you've already moved on, you're going down a new path with somebody new, that's why they're losing sleep. That's why they're weary, because they feel like, you know, you're no longer stuck on them. You know, at one point, you could have been stuck on this person. Wanted to be with them. Wanted things to work out. But, yeah, king of cups. Because, you, you know, you, you you felt like this person, you know, loved you. They I don't think they showed you because the king of cups don't show you how much they love you. They feel like you should already know. And you have to remember, we did see the queen of cups. And now we're seeing the king of cups. So, this is definitely... A soulmate connection. You know, it could be a twin flame. I don't know. You know your person better than me. But, yeah, this person is stressed because they like, damn, I was really in love with the collective. But they, they was taking a slow-ass time. And they say slow, too. They was taking a slow-ass time to commit to you, to, 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 you know, make it official with you, whatever the case may be. And I kind of feel like they regret that. They regret it. They regret it. So that they right now are in the process of healing, or at least they trying to, you know, but they do have a lot of sleepless nights. Health, fitness, care, dieting, health. Why is this here? Health. They want to be, this person want to change their life for the better. Look, what is this death? It is death. Wait a minute. It is death. I don't know, this person, you or this person could be part of, you know, the rainbow community because the shirt looked like, you know, it's rainbow. But the the death card came out in the reverse. Yeah, this person may not have been trying to change in the past because they, you know, could have been set in their ways. But that's, that's what they healing. Whatever the things they were not trying to change in the past is what they're trying to change now. They probably ain't got no choice, though. Nine of coins. For some of y'all, this person, you know, they are single. Maybe they were just, you know, more money focused or something like that. Or maybe they got with somebody because they felt like they could get something from them. I don't know. But whatever they were not trying to do in the past, what they wasn't trying to change in the past. For some of y'all, this person could be losing sleep because, you know, they may be, you know, curious. They may be a little curious. If only you knew, Kiki Wyatt. Mm, some of y'all, this person is losing sleep because they love you. They in love with you, but they also a little bit curious. <laughs> that's for somebody. I don't know who that's for, but it ain't for everybody. Okay, so everybody don't need to take that and run with it. Hell, why is this here? So they they, sh they definitely healing those parts of themselves that you know they were not willing to change in the past with death in the reverse. What else? Hell. Seven of Cups. See what I'm saying? 
I do feel like this person, you know, they, they had a lot going on mentally. They had a lot going on. That's probably why they were kind of stuck in their ways. Look, King of Wands, but they ready to change, baby. They ready to take action and do whatever they got to do to change. I don't think they happy about this life that they live in, especially if it means that you're not going to talk to them with the high priestess being here. The fact that you're not talking to this person is the very reason why they're going through the process to heal, to change their ways. Page of Swords. Yeah, now they make, they're ready to make the effort because the Page of Swords is somebody who's curious and they do their research because they they ready to at least take the first step. Whether it's speaking up, saying something, it's just a fresh start. It's just a fresh start. And so in order to have this fresh start, they have to heal. And they, they healing. But baby, when I tell you, they think about you sitting on top of somebody in your sexy lingerie <laughs> or in them silk boxes or whatever. <clears throat> Baby. Look, Five of Swords is killing them on the inside. Five of Swords, is ki they feel so defeated. Romance, they feel so defeated. So if you have met somebody, what is this? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person feel like you no longer stuck. You're not stuck on them like you used to. You're not hooked on them like you used to be. Queen of Coins in the reverse. Oh, <clears throat> one more. One more. Five of Wands. Baby, this person feel like y'all just want to be outside. Y'all don't, y'all don't even want to be in a relationship. Y'all want to just, you know what I'm saying, date. Like these niggas say, date with a purpose. Child, please. You just say you want to be a thought bucket. Let's just say that. Because, I mean, to date with a purpose means you getting to know one person at, at at a time. You know what I'm saying? One. One. Okay? But anyway. <clears throat> this person is losing sleep because the eight of swords in the reverse. You're no longer stuck on them because at one point you used to be stuck on this person. You're not anymore. Queen of coins in the reverse. You don't even want to be in anything committed or monogamous. You don't want to have a relationship with nobody. Five of wands, you want to sow your royal oats too. You, <laughs> yeah, shit. You, you, you want to show this. I don't think you're doing it out from a place of um, being petty, but it's like if this person had options, you want to show this person, look, boo, I can have options too. You ain't the only one that can have options. Let me show you. <laughs> and you could have told this person that. Do you think people ain't coming for me? You don't think people in my DMs, you don't think niggas or females really look at me and try to fuck with me? Maybe they thought that in the past. I don't know, but baby, they are tough. Now it's what they being haunted with because they know you that nigga or that female. They know. They know motherfuckers coming for you, baby, and it's stressing the hell out of them. It's stressing them. Look, <clears throat> they want to come in with some communication so bad. They 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 got something to say. They pissed off. They kind of pissed off. That's that's. I don't think they pissed off at you, but you know, kind of pissed off at themselves because they put themselves in this position. <laughs> Love, hate. <laughs> they know they broke your heart, but they also know that you you know you you, you still got love for them. Love, hate. Uh, they say cheat, cheat. Oh, okay. Well, this don't go in the deck, but this person cheated on you. They cheated on you. They thought they could get over. <laughs> they thought they could get over on you in some shape, form, or fashion, but that don't belong in the deck, so. Love, hate. <clears throat> That's how they end up breaking your heart, by cheating on you. Five of cups, and they regret it. They regret it. You know, they broke your heart. They definitely... They, 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 they are... Very remorseful because they realize, and that's why you ain't fucking with them, though. They broke your heart. Now they walking around feeling sad and shit because you ain't talking to them. <laughs> Love, hate, what else? What else? Okay. Two of coins, yep. This person regret ever trying to juggle you, ever trying to get over on you. They regret it. You were not a priority for this person. They had a lot. They could have had, you know, things going on, and you just were not a priority, and they regret that. Or, you know, they was just, you know, trying to have that cake and eat it too, and <laughs> they regret that. Look, five of swords. 
telling you, they feel defeated now. They feeling defeated. This is somebody who is feeling sorry for themselves right now. Because the truth is is slapping them in the face. <laughs> that, you know, they had the person that they were meant to be with right there with them. And yet they they could have fell into temptation. <clears throat> they was just making all the wrong choices, hanging with all the wrong people. Look, yeah, they thinking clearly now. They thinking very clear now with the King of Swords. <laughs> and, she, and they regret it all. They know why you got your wild up with them. They understand why you got the, your wild up with them. And they know you still love them. Mm -hmm. They know you still love them. Look, the love we had, Drew Hill, stays on my mind. This person know you still love them because the love y'all had was strong. It was, it was real. And this person is realizing that. Look, baby, look at this. I cannot make it up. Look at what's behind that. Hearts calling. You and this person are calling each other. Y'all heart is calling to each other. Your heart knows the way. Trust it's calling for it resonates with the rhythm of your destiny. You and this person meant to be with each other. And then right behind that, universal unity. Quit playing. Child. Quit playing. But this number in 111, this number is seen as a wake up call. This person is going through a spiritual awakening, and and the truth of the matter is, is you was the person for them all along, and they lost you. <clears throat> you know because they was too busy partying, drinking, making bad choices, living this toxic ass lifestyle. <laughs> this is this person feels so stupid right now. They feeling sorry for themselves, but they right where they supposed to be because that's what's causing this person to go through the spiritual awakening. Queen B. This person see you as very secure, very confident. You you in this boss, you know, energy. And you focused on your bag. And, and you know, I kind of feel like that kind of inspires this person. Or they um, they amused. Maybe they even shocked. You know, look, the Ace of Wands. They feel like you're not even focused on being in a relationship right now. You know, it is what it is. You more focused on your career than you are about, you know, sleeping with somebody, having something, you know, hot and steamy. Who knows? I don't know. Everybody, you know, don't want to be outside and, you know, sleeping around and dating and da 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 da. But this person is like, I already know if I approach the collective, they're going to be like, no, nah, I'm focused on my money. I'm getting, I'm trying to become stable. I want to do this. I want to do that. Look, yeah. Because see you 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 stronger than you used to be, they can't get over on you or control you or manipulate you anymore. They can't because see now you're standing in your power with the strength card, <laughs> the devil baby, and and they like damn. At one point they used to be able to control you and to manipulate you, but they can't do it anymore. Page of Cups, yep. Yeah. This person, even though they know you may shoot them down with the Ace of Wands coming out in the reverse. They feel like you're going to shoot them down, but they're going to still come in with some type of peace offering. Page of Cups, they want to extend the olive branch, the moon. Look. <laughs> yeah, you ain't going to even see this coming. They don't see it coming, but they know that it's something that must be done. Shit. What else? What else? Queen B. I forgot what. The, I didn't want to say boss bitch. I, I, you know, I had to look and see what it was saying. So I asked again. <laughs> Queen B. <laughs> so expect an apology from this person when you do talk to them, if you still talk to them. You know, I don't know. Queen of Swords. See what I'm saying? Yeah, they already, they know why you, in, in, and look, we just saw the King of Swords. This is definitely either a twin or a soulmate, whether it's a karmic soulmate or not. This is somebody you meant to be with. It was somebody you was meant to go through a lesson with as well. The Queen of Swords. This person is like, I know I owe the collective an apology. I know why they so standoffish with me. I broke their heart. I lied to them. I broke their trust. And I don't know how I'm going to get it back. But they trying to figure out how, what they going to say. That, but they want to extend the olive branch. The Queen of Wands. But you intimidate the fuck out of them. You are so intimidating to this person. I don't think they ever thought that was going to happen. I don't think they ever thought that they was going to be intimidated by you. Queendom Connections revamped. Oh, it's so sad that I even have to say that <laughs> through my videos. But, you know, how it is what it is. So, know that this person is a little bit intimidated. Because not only are you 
different, you shining, you you don't have some type of glow up, but you more confident and you exude that shit and you wish a motherfucker would. Yeah, you standing in your power. So right now this person is feeling a little bit intimidated. But I do feel like they will they will be coming around when they find the courage. The high priest. They gonna come look, Ace of Swords, yeah, this person is. They gonna definitely come around and, and speak a truth. You know, but they they feel stupid for, for being in this toxic lifestyle that they thought was, you know, what that was. Toxic lifestyle. It, look, temperance. Yeah, it's and it came out crossing. They thought that, you know, them doing all this partying, drinking and drugging, that their life was just gonna be just a breeze. And things are it's starting to rumble. Their life started to rumble though. Shit started to get a little bit uneasy. And then they start wondering what the fuck is going on. See, it was all the attention. And what the hell is Oh, that's a face. <laughs> they was they were so happy that they was getting so much attention that they weren't thinking about the consequences at the time. So it's like they was with the temperance card coming out and uh crossing, I just kinda feel like this person was trying to like ride the, they were straddling the fence. They thought that they could have something with you, and then when they wasn't, they were living a double life. They thought they could anyway. They thought they could. Toxic lifestyle, hanging with all the wrong people, doing all the wrong shit, and now they paying for it. What the hell is this? Quick reference guy, baby. That don't even. Yeah, see, this person thought they could. It was a, you know, they could just quick fixes. You know, microwave life. Just do what they want to do, and everything. They didn't really want to work for nothing. This person didn't want to work for nothing in the past. That's how they end up falling prey to whatever they fell prey to. Look, the sun in the reverse. This person is not happy at all. You know, at one point they were. This toxic lifestyle was, you know, it was everything to them. Not anymore. Look, they don't want to be toxic no more. The devil in the reverse. They don't want to be toxic no more. <laughs> they tired of doing the devil's work, child. Look, five of coins because they didn't get them nowhere. It didn't get them nowhere. Stuck like Chuck. Left out in the cold. Wondering what where, where the fuck they next meal coming from. Because they got to save, the, save them little childish because they got, maybe got to go to work. They got to save them little coins because they got to catch the bus to go to work. But they hungry. You know, they need a double cheeseburger. Aww. And they, may, they, they, they need to go get it from this person that, was, that they were sitting up pillow talking with. Because <laughs> that's what it was. They was pillow talking with somebody and... Didn't take heed to the the warning signs. Now their life is falling apart. It's shattered. Jealousy and love messages. Two faced. It. This is the third party. I'm assuming. This is their energy. This person was jealous of you and probably didn't even know you like that. But because this person was pillow talking with them, they thought they had the right to talk about you too. But it, they they did it from a place of you know just pure jealousy. They just, they wish they could have been you, but they, you know, unfortunately cannot be you. So they hated on you. <laughs> Look, King of Coins. Yeah, I told y'all this person was pillow talking. This person is the reason why this person was jealous of you. Yeah. Was. Five of Coins. I'm telling you. Because once they ghosted you and went towards this person, they could have just started talking cash shit about you. Lying. You know, some things could have been true. I don't know. But whatever it was, it was pillow talk. And they were stupid for listening to this person. Look, the three of wands, I'm telling you, because this person, what they, what your person put you through, this person put them through. They ain't ghosted their ass, just like they did you. This person thought that this was going to be like they person. This is what they thought they, this is what they had been waiting on. Three of wands, they thought they ships had done came in when they met this person. So it wasn't even a question of whether or not I should ghost the collective or, you know what I'm saying, go choose this person. But at some point, the truth, <laughs> it, it couldn't be avoided because this person was not happy. If this was your end all be all, why aren't you happy? It was a hard, it's a hard pill to swallow for this person. Night of Wands, see what I'm saying? That's what they get for being a hoe. <laughs> That's what they get for being in and out. You know what I'm saying? Make up the break up type of energy. Child, please. Yep. It was a pride. Pride came before destruction. And they did not heed the warning. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, now their life is falling apart. All because of their pride. What else? Child. Yep. 
six of cups. That's why I did not in the reverse. That's why it did not work out in the past with this person because of their pride and pride came before destruction because the person that they chose over you was a whole ho, ho queen of wands in the reverse is somebody who sleep with every motherfucking body and they use six they use what they got to get what they need you know what i'm saying T to get ahead they got somebody that's for everybody and they thought they was getting the prize baby and they didn't bad news for you page of wands in the reverse yeah you thought it was finna go somewhere no this ain't going nowhere this ain't going nowhere and and they see that now. And they see that now. That's why they they lose and sleep. They lose and sleep because what they got versus what they had. <laughs> Look, see, they want your attention. They want your attention. They like, mm -mm, I don't but again, it's that this situation is causing this person to go through a spiritual awakening. They needed it. It was time. TikTok, it was time. Queendom co connections revamped. Oh, it was time. So, yeah. Oh, teach me music, soul child. Now, I, just, I told you this prayer. You have inspired this person. You have inspired them to be better. To do better. Look. Look what flipped over, y'all. No bullshit. Y'all saw me. Karma. Especially when it comes to stability. Yeah, what this person thought they was going to build on. Mm -mm. Karma. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. What else do the collective need to know when it comes? What's, what's the, other than karma? What is this person's current situation? Look, hangover. Because remember, they they doing dr they drinking and drugging to cope with the loss of you, to cope with the karma that they getting, to cope with the embarrassment of choosing and making the wrong choice in the past. When especially when it came to a lover, they child, baby, these addictions taking them. They trying to escape, but I don't feel like they're going to be able to escape. They can't. You made your bed, you got to lie in that shit. And, and what they lying in, it don't smell good. <laughs> it don't smell good. <laughs> Emotion, see what I'm saying? Mutual longing. And, and they in a situation where they don't even want to be. They are longing to be with you. They fantasize about being with you. Child, they long to, 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 to be intimate with you again. To kiss you, to love you, to caress you, child. Look, drunk down. And they gonna tell you, too. I'm telling you. They gonna reach out. And you gonna be like, who is this calling me? Or you ain't gonna know the number or something, baby. Whether it's a phone call, an email, a DM, whatever, baby. They ain't gonna be in their right mind. They gonna be a little bit inebriated, a little drunk, a little high. They gonna be like, man, I need to talk to you. I'm so sorry. But I'm telling you, baby, they gonna tell you. They gonna pour out their life. Look, see what I'm saying? Cause they just so mad. They going through so much right now. But it's their karma. Stalking social media, inner rage and anger, baby. And whatever they seeing, again, baby, whatever they seeing on social media got them going crazy. Again, it's you. They watching you. And I don't know what y'all doing. I don't think y'all. You know, oh, that's too many, baby. This person is all over the place. Oh, my God. I'm, what did I, I'm going to tell y'all what this is. Look, I told y'all they all over the place because they feel like you're dealing with somebody else. New love interest. Financial gain. Insomnia. Nine of swords. They can't sleep because they feel like you done got with somebody that's way better than them. And that's how you glowing. You done... Child, that's why I look like you on your back, baby. This person, look, d double life. I told you they were living a damn double life. Mistress, repetitive thoughts, old flame love spell. Child, that's what they get. Confessions of the heart. What is this? I know I didn't show you, baby. This person want to pull it all out. They want to just lay everything on the table. But unfortunately, they're going to they gonna have to eat this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know, what type of karma they getting, but it don't it don't feel good. But then two karma is not supposed to feel good. It's not supposed to feel good. What else? What is this person's current situation? Look, new love interest. Interference, third party. I told you. This person is going to reach out to you and pour their feelings out to you. And for some of y'all, it could be, you know, why they still in the situation with somebody else. Because they not happy there. They don't want to be there. But I mean, unfortunately, they are there. And, you know, maybe they want to reach out to you to see, you know, is there a chance that, you know, you may get them another chance. Or, you know, you're going to forgive them and let them back in. I don't know. Com but see, they want to confess something. They definitely want to confess something. 
Now, this person feel like, you know, y'all got a stronger bond than just um, sex or just, you know, being together, hooking up or whatever the case may be. This person feel like y'all got a real bond with each other. And they miss that bond. Look, yeah, y'all don't set boundaries with this person. And y'all standing on business. They don't, they don't like it, but they have to respect it. Look, adventure, desire for ex. See, they, they miss the excitement that you used to bring into their life. They want to have fun again. They want to live again. They want to breathe again. I'm telling you, they feel so stuffy with, with this other person because they not happy there. Look, I told you existing commitment, third party situation, long term. And told you they could be married to somebody that they don't even want to be with. It's a karmic tie. Things will change in this connection, but maybe they got to learn to listen before, you know, things will change. Hanging on by a thread. Yeah, that connection just hanging on by a thread. It's, it's just a matter of time before this situation is over with the third party. Cause this, cause, look, because this person want to be happy. They want to be happy. They see you out here being happy. They see you out here enjoying your life. They want to enjoy their life. <laughs> you know, and look, it's, look, old-fashioned. Look, if this person, and it wanted to come out in the reverse, but I don't, I don't read these in the reverse. If whatever... This like whatever ways this person was set in, they they finna change all that shit. They don't want to be in the same ways. It's a traditional views, possible limiting beliefs. So if this is somebody who thought a particular way, you know, lack mindset, whatever, cared about what people thought, oh they they ready to change that shit because it didn't get them nowhere. It didn't get them nowhere. Haunt by bad. <laughs> this person is definitely longing for you, but this could have been this person's uh, biggest temptation too. They could have. You know, fell into temptation because of their lustful desires, you know, for sex or whatever the case may be. I don't know, but baby, they stressing. They stressing. But they they having an emotional affair with you in their mind while they with somebody that they don't want to be with. Drinking and drugging just to cope with being with that person. They can't sleep. The person be asking them, why you get up in the middle of the night? Where you going? They just like, I can't sleep. But they not telling this third party why they can't sleep. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They're not telling the person that. Queendom connections revamped. So let's see. What what issues are going to be exposed? Whoa. My bad. Look, playing model. Yeah, this is somebody who feel like they have to, you know, they have to sacrifice everything that they want for everybody else to be happy. But that shit is becoming played. That they they tired of wearing this mask. Yeah, they tired of wearing this mask. See what I'm saying? I did not tell you they could have been somebody who was very lustful, driven by lust. They was something. <laughs> Child, what else? Let's see. What issues are being exposed when it comes to the person on the collective's mind? What issues are being exposed within this? third party situation that they currently don't got they self into that they tired of it. <laughs> so they definitely emotionally cheating with you. Even if you're not cheating back, they definitely cheating with you in their mind and in their heart and in their soul and spirit. <laughs> what issues are being exposed within this situation? Whoa. Look, somebody, I told you they watching you. Watching everything you do, child. I'm not going to keep these because it's too many, but they, that's on top. They watching everything that you do. They stalking you. They could have found out, somebody that they dealing with could have found out that this person was secretly watching you from like other social media pages and fake pages or something like that. Because they were doing it and they was like, I know, I've seen it, child. This is crazy. Baby, they got somebody that's crazy. So what are the issues that were or that's being exposed when it comes to this person on the collective's mind? What are the issues that look trust issues? <laughs> Go figure. Painful transformation. Period. I told you. But these these trust issues that they had is causing them to have a go through a transformation. Haunted. Baby, I'm telling you, everything that they did to you, anything that they did to anybody else in the past, but definitely you, they being haunted by that shit. That's what's being exposed. 
pretends to be blinded to the truth, but they not. They not, yeah. They used to be blinded to the truth, but not anymore. That's why this transition, transformation, uh, that's why this transformation period is so painful. I said somebody going through a painful end when I saw Karmic guys. Look, this person ain't, they, 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 they ready to give up in this situation. They ain't got no fight left. So this tells me that whatever this karmic situation is, it's almost over for this person. And trust and believe, baby, they are definitely being hunted by whatever they put you through. They is. But some of y'all, that's why they can't sleep. Because <laughs> when they close their eyes, they see everything they did to you and wake the fuck up. Look, on edge. And they going crazy. They going crazy. But they going crazy because they can't run from the truth. They can't. They pretend to be blinded to the truth. But they can see. This woman can see through this goddamn thing. You can see through it. This person can see. They know what they did. They know the truth. Look, going down a dark path. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Your person started to wake up when they realized the partying or the lifestyle that they were living, especially with a third party, was taking them down the wrong motherfucking path. I don't know what was going on or what started happening in this person's life, but they they woke the fuck up. Consumed by emotions. <laughs> yeah. They waking up. And as they wake up, they cannot believe the shit that they done, you know, that they done did. They can't believe, they can believe it, but they like, damn, false identity. I'm telling you, stuck behind a mask. This person was being fake the whole entire time that you were dealing with them. They were never their true, their true self. If they were their true selves with you, they were not their true selves with this third party. Look, codependent, they were trying. Again, they were dealing with this person because it was something that this person was giving them that they wanted and that they needed. And, and again... They were tested, and they failed miserably. <laughs> That's why they're going through the coma they're going through now. They boundaries was tested, and they failed. So they're going to have to eat this. Like I said, they're going to have to eat this. And it look always stressed, child. I mean, what else can I say? It's, 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 it's basically saying the same thing with every different deck I use. This person is stressed like a motherfucker because they failed the test, and now they're paying for it consumed by ideals of love and I wonder with who hmm. I wonder who they consumed with ideals of love about I want I just wonder you know what I'm saying I just wonder well let's see let's get one of these uh star oracle messages and see look storm caller baby yeah they going through it these just and it was time it was time for this person to go through it for some of y'all 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 were the storm in this person's life. It says the storm caller channels raw energy to guide and influence others. They can speak transformation, inject vitality into collective endeavors, and lead decisively in the face of upheaval. This individual harnesses this potent force with care, understanding that their power to summon the figurative storms of life can both invigorate and overwhelm. Depending on their mastery and purpose. Y'all were the storm. And it was it was time for this person to get their shit together. So the universe used you. Divine timing is the idea that events happen in the perfect moments as determined by a higher power. Everything was divinely orchestrated. <laughs> Everything happened for a reason. You you had to call you called a storm, but this storm is causing a transformation for this person that was much needed. The crossing. The symbolic hand holding up a bridge resonates with the chosen one's energy as it represents the weight of responsibility, sacrifice, and the essential role the chosen one plays in guiding and supporting others. So you you guiding this person. Much like the hand that sustains the bridge's weight, the chosen one endures and connects rams or ideals often standing alone in their pivotal role of upholding the path for the greater good. So you standing for something and not falling for anything is 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 what this person needed in their in their life. Maybe they were used to being controlled, I mean controlling everything, you know, in everybody until they got to you, baby. You was the storm. Man, you brought it. <laughs> yeah, you taught this you the one teaching this person a lesson. You the spiritual teacher, not them. Yeah, they gonna and they learn it. Okay. But I'm gonna end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If so, I ask that you hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, share the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. We'd love to have you. If you'd like to donate to my channel, get your girl a gift because y'all know I love surprises. Or if you just want to chit-chat, information is down below. Bye, y'all.